Hey friends, Peggy Hall back with you from the healthyamerican.org. I did a video about band-aids a couple of days ago and wow, we did you have some amazing comments. We're going to be talking more about this Johnson and Johnson product, but I want to make sure that you watch this video. Here it is on my channel. It's called Why All the Weird Band-Aids. And remember when you go to the Healthy American here on YouTube, I want you to click either on videos and actually, most of my videos come as live, so be sure that you click on live, and that's where you'll see most of my live streams. Some of you said that Josh Green New Deal was wearing Band-Aids because he was diabetic, and so he was trying to cover up, oops, hang on one second here. I want to make sure I cue this up in order. You were saying that he was covering up his uh, finger pricks that he does. Well, I did some research on diabetes. Now, he certainly has the constitution of someone that has diabetes. Wouldn't you think for a medical doctor, he would set a better example than being kind of schlumpy and dumpy like that? I mean, come on. He's the governor of a state. You don't think that he would present himself in more of a professional manner? He's got a Band-Aid here on his left thumb. And yes, he does wear his wedding ring on his right finger. Big thank you to my healthy American researcher who told me that certain countries do have that tradition. Do you think there's anything more about Josh Green do deal wearing his wedding band on his right hand? Let me know in a comment. Speaking of hands, here we have an extra hand in this staged false, phony, fraudulent, fake event that he just happened to be there the third time in one month. They love their number three. And this guy loves his number six. I've got a video for you coming about that in uh, coming up in a day or two. Look at this extra hand. And it's gloved. A white glove is another symbol of the Freemasons. Yes. And I, I pointed out that this fellow is wearing a flag on his pristine white shirt after he's being pulled out of an overturned vehicle. I've got a whole video on this about the staged events, but what I wanted to draw your attention to was the thumb. I did a little investigation and the uh, idea is that if you are going to get blood to test your blood sugar, you usually don't get it from your thumb because there's so much blood in your thumb that it's hard to stop the bleeding. Also, I read that it's recommended that you don't even do it on the pad of your fingers because it's so sensitive. There are so many nerve endings there that you should do it from the side of your finger. So that's kind of interesting. I think there's more to it. It's possible that he is diabetic. It's possible that it is doing the finger pricks, but these band-aids changing. Now here it is on his right index finger when he said that you can tell this is a natural disaster because there were no survivors. Oh, I didn't know that was the litmus test for whether or not it was natural or intentionally inflicted. I think he's doing this for a reason and we're doing a part two because I have even more information for you this time. Again, kudos to the uh, sleuthing healthy American research team that is uh, all of you sending me your information to support at the healthyamerican.org. There it is very recently now on his right thumb and there it is on his left thumb and there it is on his left ring finger. By the way, he has a habit of closing his eyes. You can see that in any of these clips and I did research and people who close their eyes like that for an extended period of time generally are lying. I don't think you needed me to tell you that. He also has this whiteboard that apparently he used all through the cooties hogwash, instilling fear into the population by telling them how many people had this um, undetected disease, this, uh, you know, created uh, cooties and how many people were in the hospital. And here he is again, all with his fear mongering. Here it is. Here's even an, a different one. You can see that's on his left ring finger. Now it's on back on his left thumb. And oh my gosh, now it's on two fingers. It's on his left thumb and now on his pinky. I think that is really, really strange. Here it is now on his right thumb. Look at that yellow color. I'm just going to do a quick refresher, but I do have new information to share with you. Now it's a different color, green and yellow. I find that to be very interesting. When I get to the punchline here, there's the yellow. Uh, 
There's the yellow and here's the green and yellow. I broke this story about a week ago. Please see my video on my YouTube channel. And here is the Band-Aid, the green Band-Aid and the yellow Band-Aid. Housing is health care. He did an illegal, unlawful, illegitimate, null and void emergency proclamation whereby he suspended all of the laws related to the Hawaiian homelands and instilled a non-elected public serpent to build back better. And he did this prior to the inflicted disaster in Maui. How do you like them apples? Them are pretty rotten apples. My very astute, sophisticated, lovely, healthy Americans counted up all of those little dots. They helped me connect the clots, as I say. And it turns out that those numbers are significant as well. And if you add them up and reduce it down, it becomes a six. And there are some other interesting things that they mentioned, which uh, I'm not going to go into right at the moment, but it does look like an X. I want you to look at those dots. They're going to show back up. Now we've got the big zero. Yeah. The super zero, as I call this person, and he's got the band-aids around the third and fourth finger. Some of you said, well, that's a golfer's thing. Okay, sure. Fine. Yeah. It's all about golfing, isn't it? Why doesn't he put a glove on that hand if it's causing some kind of uh, distress? How about this? Time to pull off the band-aid in the debt talks, says the big super zero. And that just happened to be published July 11th, 7 uh, 11 in 2011. I don't want to um, expose you to those public serpents for too long. And here you go. It says, uh, the big super zero said, after a news conference, he declared it is time for both Republicans and Democrats to pull off the Band-Aid, eat our peas and make sacrifices. Oh, what do you agree that Josh Green do deal made some sacrifices, some human sacrifices in that inflicted disaster? Here we go again. You know, friends, these things are planned years in advance. So I don't want to uh, expose you to too much here, but here, this is recent. Defensive wounds, uh, the super zero, uh, meaning not a superhero, the big zero spotted golfing with bandaged fingers and possible wounded eye after chef's death. Now, I don't see the wounded eye, but you know there is the Black Eye Club. Let me know in a comment if you know about that Black Eye Club. I can do a video on that if you like. It's another one of their signs and symbols. I did a video about the signs and symbols of the evil doers. So please watch that and share it. There he's got his bandaged fingers again. The white glove that is obviously he is on the golf course, but many of you have reminded me that is a symbol of the Freemasons. Now this gets even weirder. Newt Gingrich, all right, this is 2012. 12 gets a Band-Aid. Why would they have the word Band-Aid in the headline of this B actor? I mean, he's not even significant. Uh, things have not been going all that well for Republican presidential candidate Newt Gingrich at one of his favorite places, the zoo. This whole story is bizarre. Newt, okay, that sounds like a zoo animal, was nipped on the finger by a penguin during a private tour of the famous St. Louis Zoo on Friday, uh, before he spoke to the NRA. Friends, would you do a little research for me? I could not find anything out about a penguin other than it's black and white. And we know that black and white is part of their new world disorder, the WEFers, the inversion, and all of the other uh, hogwashing of the puppet masters at the very high level. So perhaps that was the symbolism of the penguin. Maybe there's something else there. So it says he was nipped on the finger by a penguin. A Band-Aid took care of the injury. Now, I want you to understand that they're using the brand name. This is important coming up. I'm going just about to get to the punchline. Capital B, capital A. They didn't say a bandage. They didn't say, um, you know, a, a sterile wrap. They used the brand word Band-Aid. They used the brand word Band-Aid in the title. They used the brand word Band-Aid up here again in the uh, headline. So to me, when I start to see a pattern, that is where I dig deeper. Now, everyone knows that this 
hogwash that was sloshed all, all over us was intended to cull the herd. And unfortunately, those that didn't know how to stand up for them, themselves or were subjected to the washing of the brains by the uh, evil doers, they not only self-suffocated, they not only went along with the nasal Schwab testing, but they also went ahead and became human pincushions. There's the Band-Aid. Gee, imagine how many billions of Band-Aids were sold over these last few years as this image was imprinted in our brain over and over and over again. I hate to even show it. I draw the line at showing uh, any of the injectables because I do not want to have your brain be conditioned. Now, just out of curiosity, when I was doing my research, looky here, there's Bush, the actual older Bush, I believe that's the older one, who said, we are going to create a new world disorder. And he also talked about the thousand points of light. Both of these have the intended action of washing our brains to want to accept this in the future. So he had a little finger accident. Mm -hmm. And looky here, Ronald Reagan, a favorite of many, also has a finger injury. I don't know if they were roughed up by the mafia or what, but I thought that was very interesting. And here we go. The younger Bush had his wrapping on uh, two of the fingers. So I don't know if this is a coincidence or not, but here we go. Biden, oh, I don't even like to say that word. Uh, what is, how do you say it? Brandon, that's it. Brandon's fight with Harvard is a political winner and a policy band aid. There it is again. And here he is again with the title. Joe Blow says the Band-Aid has been ripped off by this uh, fake, phony, fraudulent hogwashing and this uh, resident. Nobody can pretend any longer what this is all about. Well, here we have Kate Middleton with a bandage on her finger and it keeps changing different hands, different fingers. This is Meghan Markle. And yeah, we'll talk about their genders on another day. I don't really want to make this video about that, but I find that quite stunning. Uh, you can pretty much see that it doesn't look like any female I've seen before. Anyway, on the tip of the thumb again, and they're on a different thumb and here yet on a different finger and here yet on a different thumb. And just as, as a reminder, we've got the housing crisis has the Band-Aids. This hat with the similar curious looking little dots could have nothing at all what to do with it. But this was a screen grab that I took from those staged events where Josh Green do deal a few months into his governorship here in 2023, just happened to be the only person driving by in three separate accidents at three separate times. Yes, they love those numbers. Uh, in one month, happened to jump out at the scene. There were photos of the injured that did not have one speck of dirt, not one speck of blood. Their shirt was not even ruffled. And many of you, astute, sleuthing, sophisticated, healthy Americans noticed that in two of the incidents, at least he was wearing the same shirt. Somebody's got to get that guy a new wardrobe. Wardrobe, casting, lights, camera, action. He had all of that staged. And this was one of the images in the photo, the same little dots. Now, friends, you could say that I'm off my rocker and I am uh, just really reaching too far, but this is the mark of a critical thinker. You start to dig deeper. It may not add up to nothing, but I am going to question. And with your help, I'm going to continue to dig. I have the grand finale coming up. Here's Wayfair has the very similar uh, logo here. And you know that what Wayfair was involved in, hmm, I think it's something that Oprah was involved in. Do you think Josh Green do deal could be involved in this? I'm not going to float any rumors, but I think it's curious that we, again, we have the green and the yellow. And by the way, let's just take a look, shall we? Let's go back over here and look at Johnson and Johnson, the creator of the Band-Aid. Now, they were invented in 1920, so basically 100 years ago. Prior to that, people just used gauze and tape, and it was invented by someone who worked for Johnson & Johnson. Currently, Johnson spun off the Band-Aids into a different company that was created in 2023 called Kenview. All right, that's a really weird name. Did not have time to investigate that. Let me know in a comment 
what in the non-spinning world is Ken View? What does it even stand for? Why that? Is like Barbie and Ken? I don't know. So Ken View sells Band-Aids, Benadryl, Tylenol, Motrin, and Sudafed. And then Johnson & Johnson uh, still sells all of the pharmaceuticals. And you know what they sold in 2020 and 2021 until uh, people were having very bad uh, results, should I say. Now, the Band-Aids are made in China. And as I mentioned, they are used to cover the mark after you, yes, the mark after you become a human pincushion. I also noted that they have the red cross on the Band-Aid package, just like the red crass. Here's a short history. Well, looky here. In 1968, Band-Aids went to the moon. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't even laugh at that because it's so ludicrous. Oh, really? Why? And where's the proof of that? We still don't have proof of any of that. And of course, it was on Apollo 11. I still need to do my uh, broadcast about Apollo. Now, this is interesting. In 2012, the bandages were introduced with quilted padding, which has six sides. And I pointed this out in some of my other uh, broadcast, which is, here we go again. It looks just like this, the honeycomb. This could be completely innocuous or it could be the symbolism of the hive mind, which is what they want us to do. Be a hive, be the drones, and not think for ourselves. This honeycomb six-sided hex with the X, hexagon is showing up everywhere. It is a symbol of the new world disorder. Yes, there are many who like that um, imagery and they use it innocently, and I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about using it intentionally by the new world disorder. And it ironically also is the shape of carbon, all right? So, you know, they want to eliminate carbon and we are the carbon they want to eliminate. There you have it. Here we go. This is the punchline. Biden signs, oh, I'm so sorry I even said that. I meant to say Brandon signs a $40 billion aid package. This was in 2022. Uh, just a little bit more than a year ago, to help Ukraine fight off the Russian invasion. Guess what they're sending? Guess what they're sending to Ukraine? Here we go. Well, looky there, a whole box of Band-Aids. Isn't it weird that the gloves look like they are dripping blood? Yeah. How do you like them apples? Thanks, everybody, for being on board, and be sure to tune in. I start my live streams at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. When you subscribe or re-subscribe, it helps me. Comment, share, like, share with other YouTube channels, share on social media. You are helping me wake up the masses. See you soon, everybody.